It's May and something big has just begun in the bamboo forest in Mayandi town in southwest China's Yunnan province. Soon, this will be a world of butterflies. Liu Jiazhu from Southwest Forestry University, along with his colleague Zhou Shui Song, are busy with final preparations for their trip to Ma Di. They've been investigating the large gathering of the jungle queen butterfly for seven consecutive years. They've been trying to discover the reason for this phenomenon. Several days ago, they were told that butterflies had been found in the bamboo forest, 900 meters above sea level. This indicates that the annual event may be happening earlier this year. Seven hours later, their SUV enters Mandi town. A couple of days ago, the first group of white-sleeved jungle queen butterflies were found in the bamboo forest at Ladung village. Their first task is to find them. After emerging from their cocoons, the butterflies are starving and will hunt for food immediately. Yellow shadows flutter in the valley. Soon the jungle queens will be among them. Nearly all butterflies prefer damp and muddy surroundings. Their mouths are like hollow straws which are not able to chew, but can only suck in water to provide their bodies with the salt they need. The Oja Zhu and Zhou Shia Song discovered that the first group of butterflies are all male. Their wings are fresh and perfect which means they are not long out of their cocoons. Nearly a thousand butterflies have flocked to the valley, but this is just the beginning of the real party. The gathering of butterflies is one of the most stunning natural phenomena on the planet. Hundreds of millions of monarch butterflies appear in a valley in central Mexico every fall. It took people nearly a century to understand the length of their migration. The butterflies fly thousands of kilometers to have a warm winter in the valley. However, the jungle queens don't migrate. Then why do they hold such a big get-together in the bamboo forest each year? At least 100,000 butterflies will join the party in the 70 Chinese acre forest. Now they await the coming of age ceremony patiently. People can estimate when this will be only by finding the pupa. Very good eyesight is required for the search.
The pupa stage lasts about 20 days. Patterns can be seen on the mature pupa's wings. The Ojaju estimates that a large number of pupa will transform in one or two days. It takes a caterpillar one or two days to develop from larva to pupa. In the forest, the time span of the maturity process is two months, and the height of the gathering happens in just 20 days of those two months. It is during these three weeks that the most important changes in a jungle queen butterfly's life can be observed. So this gathering is the moment most greatly anticipated by the researchers. In previous years during this time, only caterpillars and pupa could be found in the forest. This year seems very unusual. The jungle queen butterfly lives in bamboo forests between 900 and 1,500 meters above sea level. Previous experiences tell the researchers that the higher the altitude is, the later the gathering. However, a long drought in 2010 has changed things. Three years ago, the Ojaju and Zhou Xuesong had fully investigated the lifestyle habits of the jungle queen. During the 10-month-long larva period, they survive by eating Indosassa sinica bamboo. Mayandi boasts a 1,400 Chinese acre forest of Indosassa sinica. How many jungle queen butterflies are living in the bamboo? The Ojaju and Zhou Xuesong undertook a thorough statistical sampling two years ago and got a surprising number. According to their number, hundreds of millions of caterpillars are munching the bamboo leaves. But strangely, the forest has not been destroyed. In the forest on Yingpan Mountain, the Ojaju is looking for some mysterious, well-hidden creatures. Caterpillars live in their dark world. They are not able to draw attention until they eventually metamorphose into butterflies or moths. It is much harder to identify a pupa than an adult. Although Liu Jiaju is not able to identify the worms, he believes that a great diversified Lepidopteran group exists in Mayandi. Other kinds of butterflies and moths are living in the bamboo forest too, but their population and diversity does not compare with the jungle queen butterflies. Different caterpillars have different appetites for their host plants. Through hundreds of millions of years of evolution, they've come to a tacit understanding to avoid unnecessary competition for food. Liu Jiaozhu has visited all the butterfly habitats in Yunnan province. He considers himself very fortunate to have found dozens of kinds of butterflies in one place. But Mayandi has provided the greatest surprise yet. I found a 
，也就是生态照片，或者是采到了四百多个种。马鞍底这个地方呢，我就采到了二百二十个种。中国有十二个科，马鞍底就有十一个科。尤其这个地方是少有的，我们说半碗会蝶，马鞍底这个地这个地方就有。Mandi is located in an altitude of nearly 3,000 meters above sea level and is home to many different types of vegetation. The great variety of host plants has bred extraordinary kinds of butterflies. Mandi is not only a paradise for the jungle queen, but also a vast valley of beautiful creatures. The Ojaju believes he has discovered just a tiny part of the secret, though. There are more mysterious lives in this primeval forest. Based on their observations over the past few days, Liu Jiazhu and Zhou Xuesong predict that the great gathering in Ladong Village will take place in one or two days. They arrive in the valley in the early morning. A butterfly is basking in the sun. It can start its trip today as soon as its body temperature rises. It is ideal weather for the group metamorphosis. They may witness the entire thing if they're lucky. One chrysalis finally starts moving. The first step is to leave the cocoon. It must be quick. Another butterfly gets ahead. Now it needs to hang securely and wait for its wings to fully open up and become strong enough to fly. It is a very challenging and long process. All its efforts will be wasted if it falls. Half an hour later, a male and a female have almost finished emerging. Before their maiden voyage, they repeat a simple warming up action, that is, to open and close their wings once every 30 seconds. The fresh new arrow patterns and eye-like spots clearly mark their identity. For the first time in their lives, they can finally leave the forest and embrace the world. The butterflies have just completed their coming-of-age ceremony, taking off on their first flight. From now, they have just 20 days to mate and lay eggs to carry on their bloodline.